with good programming, I'm going to clean this up a little bit more, and then I'm going to comment the program. So that's really what we want our line of code to look like. But in order to understand what every line does, we're going to comment every line. I'm going to put my mouse cursor there, and I'm going to press the tab key until it goes beyond the longest line. And then I'm going to put in two slashes. That means it's going to be a comment. I'll put a space. And now I'm going to fill in or tell the other programmers what this particular line does. So this is a preprocessor directive. And the nice thing about that is if I press enter, uh oh, I didn't want to do that. So I'll press backspace. All I want to do is come down a line and do the same thing. So I'll press tab until it's lined up. That's a very important part of this. Neatness counts. Your reputation as a programmer is made with other programmers by having code that's easy to understand, clear, and simple. This is, again, a preprocessor directive. And now we'll come down to this line, this particular line. I'll tab over, slash, slash, space, starts the main function. I'll come down a line, and you'll notice that this curly brace, or French brace, is the next thing to comment on. We're going to comment on every single line. I'll put in two slashes, and this is the beginning of, or starts, the main function code. I'll come down to the next line, and tab over, slash, slash, space, and now I want to tell the other programmers what this particular line does. So this outputs hello world to the console. I'll come down a line, and this particular line is going to return my zero, so I'm going to say slash slash space returns zero to main function. The last line is another curly brace. It's the one that ends the program. So I'm going to tab over and do a slash slash in the space. And I'm going to say this ends the main function code. And now my program is fully documented internally with comments for every line.